set a kid up for success. It means that you control the environment and yourself rather than trying to control the child. It's a really good first step. So examples, always got a hangry kid, have snacks in the car for them. Does your child always want to wear that one pair of shorts and it's really cold outside? Put away the summer clothes so it's not an option. Does your kid freak out when you don't buy them something at the grocery store? Well, if you sometimes do and sometimes don't, before you get out of the car, let them know, hey, today we're going to the grocery store and you can have one thing. It has to be under $5. Often as parents, you worry that your children don't want to try new things or take risks. And one way to deal with this is to actually do that challenging activity or task or game with them. When you do things side by side with your children, things that they find challenging or frustrating or things that they're scared to do, Often it gives them the confidence to do it together. Also, you'll then be modeling to them how to approach things that are challenging without giving up. There is a lot for them to learn in doing things side by side with you rather than you doing them for them or them just not doing them at all. So give it a go and try it out and see how it works when you do things side by side with your child that they're either scared of doing or they're finding a bit challenging focus on praising things kids can control, like their effort, persistence, grit, hard work, also too much praise. The ratio needs to be right around four up to 10 for every one negative. But praise helps kids understand that they're on the right track and they're learning good skills. Our kids take what we give them and they multiply it exponentially. It's what they give. What we give and what we show to them, they take that and they make that a part of them. If we're abundantly showing them love, they're going to abundantly love. If we abundantly show them what it is to harbor bitterness, they're going to harbor bitterness. So please be careful what we teach our kids. Let's teach our kids to be loving and caring and thoughtful, to have patience and manners, and not be bitter and hateful and quick to anger.